All right, let's get started. Today, Mikey and I want to prank the villagers. But to do that, we just need to steal something. Yes, friends. We want to make the villagers laugh really hard. They won't sell us cookies and we want to get back at them. We've got it all figured out. We have to break into this very secure place. After all, that's where the magic paintbrush is. A magic brush? What is that? Can you tell me? Yes, of course, Mikey. This brush lets you paint anything you want and it will come true. So with this, we can really paint whatever we want and prank whatever we want. Whoa, really? That sounds really, really cool. Let's do it. We have to use our new tool, the hook. Let's climb to the very top. I want to see what kind of pranks we can come up with as soon as possible. I've already prepared some ideas. I'm sure our friends will love it. We have to do it quickly and quietly because there are a lot of guards in this house. If we don't want to fight them, we should just go around them. That will be the best solution. Anyway, it wasn't hard to break into this house. We had the hooks. Yeah, that tool really helps a lot to hit places you can't hit. We were able to bypass the guards and of course sneak in. I'm sure we'll be able to find all the things we're looking for. We need to be as quiet as possible because any sound and we'll have an alarm. Yes, I understand that perfectly well. We have to be very careful with all this. We'll get the brush quickly and we'll be out of here. I don't want to stay in this place anymore. It's very dangerous. Come with me. There must be this place somewhere around here. Great. This is the vault. Behind this door is the brush. Great. That's where the chest stands. We have to break the glass and get it. Oh, no. There's an alarm going off. We've got what we need, and now we have to get out of here. Let's get out of this house as fast as we can, JJ. Mikey, look over there. The villagers must be looking for us. Everyone already knows we stole something, and now they're going to try to catch us. We need a disguise. We have to hide from them. Because if we don't hide from them, they'll definitely call the police and turn us in. JJ, you must have a plan. Think of something. Yes, I have a plan. We'll turn into villagers ourselves. I'll draw us a picture so we'll become villagers and no one will suspect us. Really? Can we do that? This is just a great tool. Do it as fast as you can, because I want to become invisible to them as soon as possible. They will lose us and look for us in places where we are no longer there. It will help us a lot, and we will move at this pace. I want to work it all out as quickly as possible and not forget the problems. It's going to be very simple. Anyway, each of us will do our best to organize our maximum. I want to prank the villagers, and it will be much easier to do it in their clothes. Great friends, we've done it. Mikey and I got to look like villagers. Now no one will ever recognize us. We can do our pranks however we want. Great news. I want to prank them all as soon as possible and have fun. Let's go see what they're even doing. Because those villagers are up to something. They're probably discussing a plan to catch us. This is going to be really, really funny. JJ, we need to come up with our first prank and execute it. We mustn't stand still. I already have an idea for our first prank. I want to enlarge their noses. What? Noses? Ha ha ha, that would be really cool, JJ. I want to see as soon as possible how their noses will be bigger and they won't be able to walk. That's the fun of it. They really won't be able to work it all out. They're going to move really funny and there's probably going to be some other problems. But that's to them for trying to get us out and of course, destroy us. We'll outrun them with you, Mikey. Great, the drawing is done and we'll have to see what came of it. Somehow, I think it's going to be just incredibly interesting and funny. JJ, look at that. They really do have incredibly huge noses. I've never seen one like that before. Anyway, the first prank was definitely a success. I want to get this resolved as soon as possible. Anyway, everyone is doing their best to improve the quality of their work. We have to prank them as soon as possible and give them serious arguments. Ha ha ha, Mikey, look. That villager is sneezing so hard he's jumping up. Yeah, I can totally see that. Now they'll have to walk around with those big noses for a long time. But let that be their punishment for not selling us the diamonds. That's just awful. I really hope we can really do our best to get these pranks over with. They should be as interesting as possible. All right, we need to get to the second prank. I have an idea. I want to replace some of the earth with magma blocks. Then the villagers will be hot and painful to walk on. Now that's a real and complicated prank. They'll definitely get in trouble for it. Anyway, we have to get revenge for them not giving us cookies. We're going to destroy them. We'll prank them so hard that they'll completely forget how badly they treat us. That's a good goal. After all, we are constantly defending this village from monsters. They need to show a lot more respect for us. After all, our job is very dangerous and difficult. Anyway, we will do everything very quickly and efficiently. I hope we will get the best out of it. Each of us will have fun and get the cookies we deserve. I agree with that too. Pranks on the villagers are always the most fun. They have their own reactions. 
reaction to it all and we can watch and laugh with them. Anyway, we do it for the purpose of punishing them. We will continue to do pranks. JJ, they're really not happy that they became magma blocks. We've done our job. That's great news. That means we're doing well with our pranks. We need to make as many of them as we can and as fast as we can. The villagers should not relax and get some more pranks to themselves. Anyway, sooner or later they will give up and stop looking for us. Great! Our second prank has worked. Now, we need to make another one. I have an idea to scare them really bad. I'll draw a ghost. Hee <laughs> hee, that's a really cool prank. They'll be really scared of the ghost. They will run away, hide from it, doing everything they can to escape. So, we have to do everything as fast as possible and forget about it. I want to solve all these problems as quickly as possible and just feel better about it. JJ, that monster has to show up around here somewhere, right? It's going to be really very interesting to find out. There he is, the ghost. He's about to attack the villagers and scare them. JJ, look, they're all running away. They're burrowing in the ground or jumping into the water. Your prank really worked. They're all scared of the ghost. I never realized the villagers were so scared of everything. It's incredibly fun. Anyway, we'll quickly solve all these problems and hope it works out in the right way. Look, even one of the villagers just started building upwards. That's incredibly funny looking. We really are the kings of pranks and the villagers can't do anything about it. This magic brush does just incredibly cool things. We're ready to fight against them. Anyway, we'll do some more pranks to cement that title. Totally agree with you. The further we go, the more interesting pranks we'll have. All right, friends, here's our next prank. We're going to summon monsters from the sky to the village. It'll be a real trap for the villagers because they will attack them all. Mikey, we have to be careful too. They will attack us. So keep your distance, otherwise they might just beat you. I understand exactly what you're trying to tell me. I want to solve this problem as soon as possible. Anyway, each of us is really doing our best to win this battle. We're pranking the villagers. If they are scared and run away, we accomplish our mission. I'm really looking forward to seeing how they tackle this monster problem. They're not going to solve it. There are so many monsters here that they will soon take over the whole village. We need to think of a plan to defeat them and what to do. We can't just leave them all here. We have to defeat them. Yeah, that's a good idea, Mikey. We have to make a safe place for ourselves. I'll draw us a bunker later where we can hide from the monsters because there are really a lot of them and we have to beat them as fast as possible. Great, your prank was 100% successful, JJ. There's just so many of them. There's even mutant zombies. They're very dangerous enemies that can destroy us. We have to be careful. I want to solve all our problems as soon as possible and forget about them once and for all. Anyway, each of us is really doing our best to solve this problem. Start drawing the bunker. We need to hide at least somewhere to hide from these monsters. Okay, Mikey. I'll draw us a bunker right away. We have to do it quickly. That's why, just run around and distract those monsters from the villagers and the village. Anyway, we in the bunker can get weapons and defeat all the monsters at once. So you just need to buy some time and we'll destroy them all. Yoo-hoo! We'll still be fighting monsters! This is exactly what I've been waiting for, JJ. I really hope we can beat them all and keep pranking the villagers. Of course we can do all that. You just have to run away from them and keep them away from me. You know what I mean? All right, I'm drawing our bunker inside the well. It will be safe there. We have to do it as soon as possible because the monsters are on their way. There's too many of them and Mikey can't buy much time. Hurry up, JJ. They keep destroying this whole village. If we don't destroy these monsters and escape, they'll destroy everything. We should just go around them and jump into the well. There's nothing complicated about it. I'm almost there. Great, almost there. Mikey, you can come to me as fast as you can. JJ, did you finally make the bunker? We need to run in there now. We have to defeat the monsters that attack the village. Yes, Mikey, we're almost done, and now we can escape from here. We'll have to get all the weapons inside the well. Then we'll make it through this whole thing. I sure hope so, because I'm tired of these monsters in my village. We have to destroy them as soon as possible to continue our business. Want to keep pranking the villagers without those monsters? They're getting in our way. I understand you very well, Mikey. We just have to do it. Otherwise, why did we try to prank? There's a huge bunker inside the well with its own weapons and safe houses. So it'll be a place to hide. I really hope you have ideas for more pranks because I've already organized all of mine. 
Yes, of course. I still have lots of ideas for what to do for the villagers. But first, we need to destroy the monsters from the whole village. We can't let them settle here. I understand you very well, Mikey. We'll organize it really quickly and we won't have any problems. I want to get this all sorted out and done as quickly as possible. In any case, each of us will be busy with important business. I want to organize the next prank as soon as possible and just laugh with the villagers. It's much more interesting than fighting monsters. I've already realized that. We still have time to prank the villagers a few times. They definitely won't expect something like this after we save the whole village. I really hope my ideas for pranking come out interesting. I've been preparing them for a really long time. Great! If you really have something, you should use it as soon as possible. So, on to the next prank. JJ, you need to draw a huge mountain of emeralds. After my command, you'll turn it into a mountain of dirt when the villagers want to mine. Build it and draw it. After all, a magic brush can do anything. That's a great prank, Mikey. I like your idea with that substitution. We can really piss off the villagers with this prank. I'm 100% sure of it. I just believe that the sooner we get it all organized, the better it will be. We have the time and energy anyway. We just need to match the moment. I hope we won't have any problems. After all, we shouldn't be kicked out of the village. If we get kicked out of the village, I'll completely destroy it myself. I promise you. I think that would be fair too. After all, we just want to have fun. The more pranks we do, the more fun we'll have. Yeah, JJ's right. The villagers deserve to get pranked a couple times. They're too mean. Anyway, we're just doing what we want to do. We won't summon monsters anymore. I want to make fun of the villagers as soon as possible. This next prank is unbelievably cool. JJ, cool. You really did it. Villagers, get over here as fast as you can. We found emeralds that you can mine for free and become rich. You have to get them as fast as you can before JJ and I take them ourselves. All right, Mikey's plan is working. All the villagers have gone to him and want to mine it. Villagers, don't miss your opportunity to get rich. It's very important right now. You must always have enough money to defend your home and farm from monsters. Okay, they're really getting interested in this. Get ready to go out there to paint. Come closer! If you really want to make money, this is really important to us. Okay, apparently I need to go in there and just draw what Mikey said. It'll be really easy. Come on, JJ. Swap all those emeralds for dirt. We're going to laugh unbelievably hard. Okay, friends. Let's swap emeralds for dirt and see how the villagers react. Ha ha ha! You've been pranked again! We've been pranked again and no one gets emeralds! You can get out of here! You won't get anything and your ideas are ruined! Mikey, that was a good prank. Now the villagers are really mad at us. That's exactly what I wanted. I wanted to upset them. Anyway, we did it. Time to think of another prank. It has to be as fun as possible. It's really hard because we've already tried so many things. We need to make it uncomfortable for them to even walk. Oh, I have an idea. Let's turn them from head to toe, shall we? They'll jump on our heads. What? Really? Let's try to do that. I just don't fully understand how it's going to work. Okay, then I need to draw something new. I need to draw a mechanism that will trick them. We'll say that by passing through it, they can shrink their noses. But actually, it'll turn them around so they'll jump on their heads. Let's do it. It's really very funny and fun. I'd like to test it, really. If it works, it really will be the funniest prank of all of yours. I really hope I can solve all the problems very quickly and get it over with. Either way, everyone is doing their best to make it happen. I really hope you realize what you're doing, because there could be big problems. I want to get it all done as quickly as possible and be done with it. Anyway, each of us will do our best. I hope we have enough strength still. There's definitely enough time. The villagers will definitely fall into our trap because they won't be able to stay with such big noses all the time. It's uncomfortable. So they'll be willing to do anything to make them smaller. That's just brilliant, JJ. Your pranks are really very interesting. It's all thanks to you. You give me new ideas all the time. All I do is draw. Pranking villagers is even a lot of fun. I'll do it several times a week. Yes. It's really true. We'll do it from time to time. Suddenly we'll get something else cool. Anyway, friends, you can write your pranks and we'll definitely show them at our place. That's for sure. We need more interesting and new ideas. You can do it. Okay, I think the mechanism should be big, very big. I've almost drawn it. Let's hope it works because we really tried to make something really cool. Anyway, let's give it a try, Mikey. Let's do it and try to make it all the way to the end. I want to try to do it. Great, the mechanism is ready. Now we need to call the villagers back here. Hey villagers, come here as fast as you can. We have a mechanism that will make your noses smaller. 
JJ, look, they're really coming. Now we're going to help you. All you have to do is go into the mechanism and wait a little while for us to turn it on. Don't be afraid, friends. It really will work just like that. You'll be happy you chose and trusted us. It's going to be unbelievably cool. I'm really looking forward to helping you. After all, Mikey and I helped and destroyed the monsters in the village. Friends, of course you don't have to be afraid. You are like this now, and you will become like this. This is a really good way to make things right. I want to try to do it. I can already see that you're thinking about it. Go through and find out for yourself. It will definitely help you, and you can win at it. JJ, that's great. They are already coming inside and will really transform. Great, everybody get in there. You're about to feel lighter. JJ, they're really coming in. This is going to be unbelievably fun. Yoo-hoo, we did it. We were able to put them in our trap. They really flipped over. Friends, would you look at that? Ha 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 ha. This is just unbelievably funny. They're all bouncing on their heads and they can't flip over. That's just unbelievably cool. We really, really prank the villagers. We are the kings of pranking. Anyway, let them walk around like that. It's even better for them. Anyway, we can solve all the problems quickly enough and come up with new pranks for next time. But now, friends, we're going to say goodbye to you. See you very soon. Bye, everyone. Yes, friends. Good luck to everyone and see you next time.